హలో నమస్తే సలాం వాలేకుం సత్రీకాల్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అనదర్ సెషన్ విత్ యువర్ వాష్ అట్ వార్ ఎవర్ డాట్ కామ్ యూ నో వీ హ్ మేడ్ కపుల్ ఆఫ్ వెరైటీస్ ఆఫ్ టర్కీ డిషెస్ బట్ హౌ వుడ్ ద ఫుల్ టర్కీ రోస్ట్ సో టుడే వాట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ఇస్ రోస్ట్ ఫుల్ టర్కీ టు ప్రిపేర్ దిస్ టర్కీ ఐ హ్ గాట్ ఎ హోల్ టర్కీ విచ్ ఐ పుల్ ఇన్ ఎ రోస్టింగ్ ట్రే యూ కెన్ బై దిస్ రోస్టింగ్ ట్రే ఇన్ ఎనీ సూపర్ మార్కెట్ వేర్ దే సెల్ టర్కీస్ i have got here uh, sweet potato potatoes celery onions and uh, you can put any of these uh, vegetables as your bed the purpose of these bed of vegetables is so that the turkey doesn't touch the bottom and get burnt and these vegetables also get cooked and uh, with all the juices that the turkey uses out that way later you can convert this uh, vegetables into a nice turkey sauce and you can eat with a roast turkey and i also added something here if you notice you know when i bought the turkey there are little giblets and uh, turkey neck what i did i cut the turkey neck and this uh, little liver and other giblets into small pieces and put in the bed of vegetables they nicely flavor this um, uh, vegetables with the nice turkey flavor and what i'm going to do i'm going to add a little water to make it a little more indianized flavor you can add a little chopped ginger garlic into this liquid now the turkey is sitting here what we want to do is we want to marinate the turkey before it goes into the oven so what we are going to do we are going to make a kind of a biryani that will cook uh, inside the turkey so what i have done i have boiled some rice if you want to know how i boiled this rice you have to go and check my chicken biryani recipe in which i half cook the rice so basically you are going to half cook this rice and then we are going to make a nice marination so to prepare this marination i have taken one cup of yogurt in which i am going to do it little bit different see turkey gets some nice sweet flavors so we going to have a nut and uh, raisins and other kinds of biryani so what i did to uh, one cup of yogurt add half a bunch of uh, chopped coriander and then half a bunch of uh, chopped uh, mint add just two pieces of uh, green chili chopped finely and uh, use 1 tablespoon or little less of ginger garlic paste to this add broken cashew nuts add some raisins one of the main ingredient in lot of turkey preparations is cranberry what i did i put some of this uh, cranberries in my ding chick ding chick uh, container and then just crushed it little bit so we're going to add it up in there okay now we're going to add some indian spices add some coriander powder little bit little bit of cumin powder in fact what you can do is you can just get one of those biryani spice uh, mixture and just add little bit don't add too much and mix all these ingredients okay add little bit salt as i have told you inside total deshi indian outside total american turkey so we are going to apply some of this masala inside the turkey okay take some of this biryani mixture and apply this very nicely inside the turkey rest of of the mixture we're going to mix it with the rice rice is half cooked it needs moisture to cook fully so this um, yogurt and this mixture will provide that other half of moisture to your rice take little by little rice and put it inside and push it inside we going to take some cabbage and uh, cover it up the leftover rice you can put it in cabbage just like uh, how they make dolmas and then put it inside here now the turkey inside is like nice biryani kind of rice and also some leftover uh, rice i just packed it in uh, lettuce and cabbage leaves and put it here it will get cooked to in a slow heat to apply outside the turkey what i am doing is i opened this packet of uh, regular turkey stuffing packet in which i took the spice powder and mixed it with lemon juice and i'm going to apply put some oil olive oil okay and add some salt to it okay yeah. so what we are going to do we are going to apply this mixture all over you know Usually you get a nice um, 
twine with it uh, when you buy the turkey inside there will be a twine so just uh, tie both your turkey legs so they stay intact so now the turkey is all ready to go inside the oven so now the turkey is inside basting is applying little fat on the top of the turkey so that the meat remains moist so we are going to prepare that marination ok I have some olive oil and uh, lemon lime juice in it so what I am going to do is I am going to add some garlic ok now I have uh, just uh, mashed up little garlic and uh, I am going to add to this uh, mixture of uh, lime and uh, olive oil and now I can add little more soya sauce now with that uh, little soya sauce, garlic, lime juice and uh, olive oil it is a perfect basting thing for my turkey apply nice your garlic and other spice mixture onto the turkey friends I have put the turkey and uh, now it is almost 2 hours that I put the turkey in while I was uh, roasting the turkey in the oven I basted it with uh, little oil and the mixture I made so every 20 minutes you baste it one time so the meat is not dry from the others on the top look at this look at this don't cut the turkey as soon as you pull it out of the oven just let it rest for like 10-15 minutes so the juices settle in the meat what happens if you try to cut any if you puncture the meat all the juices will come out and the meat will be dry so hold the turkey nicely with the spoon and put it on your chopping board so just uh, melt some butter add some cumin seeds add some coriander powder some cumin powder a little bit of um, chili powder ok just heat it a little bit don't uh, cook too much or again your sauce will get burnt now uh, I am going to add the entire uh, liquid that is used up so whatever um, the little liver and other giblets are there you can just pull out from the vegetables and add to this if you want you can even add the vegetables now uh, I am going to add a little bit of um, cranberry chutney that is all I have left add salt beautiful sauce ready you know oh my god oh. so now first cut the the twine I am going to cut the turkey I love the leg portion of the turkey my god look at this So I got cut the turkey leg so look at it beautiful and then put the sauce on top a little bit along with your rice ok you know cut piece of turkey and wow hmm wow oh my god it is so beautiful mm -hmm. see if you cook it right the turkey meat will be very juicy and the way I put this masalas inside you know nice yogurt and um, nice um, other masalas and they make it so tasty it is I can't I don't have any words for it you have to try this you know if you you can even try this with uh, chicken also but for thanksgiving go ahead bring one turkey cook it for the family and I am telling you you won't have any leftovers when you cook turkey this way you know don't be surprised if your kids or your husband wake up in the middle of the night and raise the fridge to eat if there is anything left over usually I give a big lecture at the end I have to eat my turkey right now so if you want to post please post your recipe tips and thank you very much for watching this show at whatever.com thank you Ooh, <laughs>